Jared Poland, fronosphoto.com, and welcome to a new type of critique video that I just came up with. Now, in the past, I've asked you for your best 10 images for rapid fire critiques, but what was happening is I was getting a couple of good images, and then I was like, well, there probably were better choices that they had. So what I think is that people have trouble deciding what are their best images, because maybe they're too close to them, meaning they've seen them a lot, and they think that this image is great when really it's not the strongest one that they have. So the idea here is that you guys get to submit 50, 60, 70, 80 different images, and then I go through those images and whittle it down to what I think are the best 8, 10, 12, 15, maybe even 20 that could be portfolio worthy for your website or are the best galleries. Now, if you're new here, welcome to the channel. I make videos probably three times a week, including Photo News Fix, which, which generally comes out on Wednesdays, as well as critiques, reviews, real world reviews. And if you haven't hit that subscribe button, please hit the subscribe button and don't forget to hit that bell so you can be notified when a new video goes live. So the first set of images I have here, I believe is from a wedding photographer. There are 63 different shots. Now I'm gonna go through each of these images and I'm gonna either pass on them or give them a five star rating. Five to me is just what I use to let me know that these are what I think are the keepers. And then my best of the best of the best with honor sir that I'll go through after I get all the keepers, I hit number six in Lightroom because that gives it a red label. That's personal preference, that's how I do it with mine. Now, the images that I choose, this is my personal preference. It doesn't mean that they should listen to me or that they're right, it, it, that I selected the right ones. It's just that this is my take on what I think are the best of the best images to showcase your work. So first image, I'm not, I'm not gonna work on the critiques, we're just gonna go through them and quickly, this is how I do it and see what picks uh, the ones I like the most. To me, this looks like a selfie, so I don't like it. I like this. I kind of like the feel for it. It's like they're hidden, unless it's saying that it's their hidden love, but I'm gonna give that a five for now. Um, I'm not really feeling that that much. This is interesting. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm drawn into a certain part of this image, it, more so on that left-hand side. Woo! But uh, I like the composition, uh, I like the framing, and it's a little muted. Okay, is that the same girl? I was gonna, I, oh, those are, I thought that was gonna be a massive ring. So I don't really feel that one as much. Or that. Or that. I don't, I don't get that at all. Oh, okay. Little on the cockamini side, uh, the, 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 what do they call that? A, uh, Dutch angle, I, I hate Dutch angles, so I wouldn't pick it. See, that's kind of cool because they're they're laughing. Now I asked them just to submit JPEGs. I asked for high res. I don't think that these are the full res versions, um, but we'll, we'll keep moving on through there. So I guess we're gonna try and showcase the best of the best wedding photos. Uh, yeah, I'm still going through. I guess I submitted that one twice. So that showcases a nice wedding photo that yeah, it's simple, but it, it works. See, it looks like they're just angry. The reflection is killing me. In the reflection, we've got the photographer and all these trucks in the background. That's killing me. I mean, I'll give this an okay for now and we'll come back to it later. But this, see, this is happy. I hate garter belt shots. I hate all of that stuff. But this one actually caught a good moment uh, and I like it. I, I generally don't pick a lot from the wedding party when I was putting together because those are just, party shots, it's the other images that from the day that tend to be better. The goal here is to have a, a, a nice set. See, it just, where I'm lost is her face. She's like not happy. I'm just gonna give it a, a, a five star for now and we'll come back to it. But now he doesn't look happy. See, that jumps out to me. Do you see, it's like an image that jumps, like. When I say there's a difference between a, a snapshot and a photograph or an image and a photograph, this is what I'm talking about. You instantly see this and you're like, yeah, that was good. Where you see the other ones and you're questioning how good they are. I don't like it. I don't know, I, I'm, not a, I'm not a solar flare type of person. Some people may like this. I just, I'm not a huge fan. This isn't easy, guys. Because the, the, the photographer that submitted these is, this is a personal thing, you know, putting your stuff out there for somebody to critique. So this is interesting because it's raining and you've got the, 
you've got the um, the other people's umbrellas. I'm not sure people would be happy seeing that there's rain possibly for their wedding day. That may be one of those bride things where brides get all upset, like, oh, but it doesn't rain. Who cares? It's a wedding day. Let me jump in here real quick and let you know that Adorama Picks is no longer Adorama Picks. They're actually called Printique. That's the name they came up with. But I'm letting you know this because they gave me a code a long time ago and I haven't seeded it out yet for 15% off. It's FRO15. So if you use that code, you're gonna get 15% off your metal prints, your photo books, your other prints. I also looked on the site right now, they're giving 15% off with a different code. Just use my code, please, so they know that it came from me, FRO15. Now let's get back to the video. I can live with that. Even though I cut off the flowers, I can still live with it. I can't live with that. I can't live with that. Nope. Yes, this I can live with. It's unique and interesting. No, I want to give it a five star. It's unique and interesting. I love the eye contact here through the veil. That I like. I can live with this except for you cut off his feet. I hate that, but I'll live with it. What the hell is wrong with that processing? One eight thousandth of a second at f2.5? I don't know, that's just it that's just a weird processing, one eight thousandth of a second. I'm I'm thrown off by that. Cause I, I see, but that I would showcase. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that because that's much better. I'm not sure what happened on this one. They must have made a mistake. Oh, I know what happened. One eight thousandth of a second. I bet you it looked something like this, and then they went like that and brought it all the way back. Or no, one eight thousandth of a second would have been totally dark, and then they tried to bring it back because one eight thousandth of a second is super fast. So I don't like that. That's better. This is kind of okay, but I'm like, why is she in a wedding dress and what does it have to do with this barn thing? But I like that one better than this. So I'll go through and actually I'm gonna get rid of, I like that, I'm gonna get rid of this because I like this one the most. I don't understand this one in the field. It's not conveying much to me. That's nice. That works in a wedding in a wedding portfolio. That doesn't work. She's crying. I'm mean, she's crying. See, that's pretty that's nice. Other than she's got a big Jesus coming out of her head. I mean, it's true. See, I love this. I actually really like this. I love the flowers. I love her look right here. That I would put in there as well. This is good as well. Nice composition and framing. So I give it to that. Um, you see what's going on here? There's images that pop out to me that I'm gonna pick. The point here that, that, I, that I always try to make to people, you don't have to show work if it's not good. You are the last line of defense between putting out shit and putting out the best of the best with honors, sir. You keep the, the not good stuff and you don't show it. That's why if you shoot 2,000 images, I'm not a fan if you shot 2,000 images, but if you did and you whittled it down to the best 50 or 20, that's great. Show the best of the best work because that's what people are seeing and that's what they're gonna hire you for is if you show the best stuff. So do not show something if it isn't the best stuff. Uh, I'll give this one for now to see if it can fit in there later. But this just isn't focused. I'm, I'm not sure, is that a preset? But why are we at one eight thousandth of a second? It can't be a preset. I just think that the exposure was just way off. And then it was, and then they tried to bring it back in post. Because if it was not one eight thousandth of a second, well, I guess the one way you can get around this is go to 200, 100 ISO. Oh, all right, I take it all back. Let me take it all back. I now see that we're using an original 5D. So I will give props instead of rip on the photographer because I understand how difficult that camera must be to use today with ISO topping out at. I mean, I don't even know that 1600 would be that good. So a little bit of props right there now that I'm coming back to realizing that it's a 5D. And I know some people are going to comment in the comments like, Jared, but it shouldn't matter the gear. Yeah, you know, if I see somebody using a D3500 getting great photos versus somebody using a, D5, uh, a D5 and getting shitty photos, I'm going to say something. So I'm giving props to this. I'm not saying that this is now a better image. I'm just saying they're wrestling with much older. We're talking... 10-ish plus 10, 12 year old camera at this point, and it is more difficult over time. So we could maybe call this artsy. 
We call that artsy, but I'm not really a super fan of that. Uh, that's the cake. I'm not sure that people are buying it to see that, that, that this image would sell. The focus is right here on the flower versus the cake, so I kind of lose it there. It's also possible that these images are super old now that I see somebody with a massive old camcorder and no cell phones. See, this I could live with. This is just blah. It's not your fault that it's blah, it's just the nature of a wedding in there. There. What's this, like Texas or something? So that was a, I, I can't, I can't. I mean, it looks good, so maybe it will be a filler shot. And then no, that's, that's just not. So let's see what I picked and how many I picked right here. I picked 23. Okay, so I think we're gonna be able to whittle this down to a good looking portfolio uh, gallery for the website that's gonna showcase some of your best work. Um, what I used to tell wedding customers or wedding clients is like, I showcase the best of the best here. If you'd like to see more, I also have other portfolios of images I can show you. Because if all you have are 15 to 20 uh, good images, what's gonna happen if they ask to see more from another wedding? Make sure you're capable of sending them images from an entire wedding. If you're looking for a wedding photographer, then what I would do is I would say, can I see a full wedding day that you deliver? So that means send me a couple of hundred images so that I can see what you create. That's what I would do is if, if you're looking to hire a wedding photographer, I wouldn't just, I, I've seen this and I won't name names, but I've seen a photographer um, do a wedding for a friend of mine and I was not happy when they turned over the 2000 images and there were not that many keeper images because I saw their best of the best that they sell themselves with and this stuff that they got at this wedding was not the, the best of the best with honor sir and I was not happy with that fact. So let's go through and see what the keepers are. Actually, let me go back really quick because there was that one that we questioned. So now that I've seen the rest of them, I may just put that in there. So let's do a quick pass. I, I, I kind of really like that. I'm, on, on the quick pass, I, I like this for the laughing. I like this because it shows the beach scene. Just be very careful with your editing because there's some of that halo effect happening around them. Uh, yeah, I can live with this because she's got that look. She's like, I'm in power type of thing. I live with this. Nope, we're not gonna use that for a wedding. Love that. I could see that one squeezing in there. This one we're not gonna do because you don't want it raining on somebody's parade. But this after can work. This one I absolutely love. Love that veil photo. This she looks like she's about to grab his crotch. I mean, if that works, it works. But to me that doesn't work in this case. In some cases, some people may like it. So I wouldn't put in both of these. Uh, I'm not a big fan of putting in similar images in a portfolio where one of them should have been chosen, not both. You have to make a decision. In this case, I'm going with the horizontal image because it shows less of, well, I just think it's a stronger image. The colors are better. Uh, it's just a nicer shot. This, that can go with us. This, even though Jesus is coming out of the top of her head, shows something nice happening. Love this photo. I may get rid of that one, but I'm gonna keep, so I'm not doing this one. I don't like it looking through the wall. I'm not gonna use that one. This one showcases the back of the church, what you're capable of doing, and I'm not using that one. So we've whittled it down to 15. So we've got this, so that's like pre-wedding, not pre-wedding, like, but this is like the engagement shoot stuff. Then some fun, congrats. I, I would change the order up. We're not gonna go over order. I'm just whittling it down to show you the best of the best from this. And now, see, I can live with this. I'm not a fan of, I'm not a fan of the, the lens flare. That doesn't mean that people don't love it. So I'm keeping it because they probably would love it. This can work. It's not the greatest of, the shot, of shots. This is one of my favorite shots, as I've said. That's good, good, okay, good, good. I think it's well-rounded now. So we whittled it down from 63 to get to 15. There is a selection process that goes on. There's just my style of doing it. I make a pass, pick what I think are the best of the best, then go through and pick the really the best of the best after that. Five stars, then I, give, then I keep the five stars because when you're doing weddings, people don't give a shit if the photo's slightly out. They don't care. They just want to see that cool moment that you captured. So give it to them. Um, this is 
different than what I've done before. If you'd like to see me do more of this, please leave some comments down below. I'm going to continue to do more because I think it's kind of fun to show you how the, the, the process that goes on to pick what I think are the best images and you can try and replicate that with yourself. But the main point is trying to tell you not to put out crappy work. You can whittle down from your best of the best and you have to give 15, no more than 20 in a portfolio. Will, it will just become too distracting. But these are what I consider to be the best 15 images. Now, how am I gonna take submissions for this? I'm probably gonna request them on Facebook so I can send you a message with a link to upload them to Dropbox for me. That's just what I'm gonna do right now. That's the easiest for me. So go find me over on Facebook. Let me know what you think down below. Don't forget to like, share, comment, and subscribe. And that is where I'm gonna leave it. Jared Poland, Photo.com. See ya.